Special delivery from Canada. Firefighters just received two new super scoopers, a possible game changer. All right, folks, you know it's hot out there, but fire crews here have some new allies with deep pockets this year. As NBC 4's Gordon Tokamatsu explains, power companies are getting more involved to keep your home from burning down. They're back and ready to do battle. Our department's fleet of aerial firefighting resources is robust. This year, the CL-415 Super Scoopers hit the ground running. Last Thursday, the very first day of the contract, the big yellow planes helped tame the explosive route fire north of Castaic. And that's not all. Take a look at the Helitanker 55, the newest member of Southern California's fleet of leased aircraft. Along with the increasing fire threat comes the need for better tools. Firefighters are calling this a game changer and for one very important reason. Nighttime is our thing. Flight engineer Heather Balint will be in the back of the chopper as it drops payloads of water or retardant. But she and the rest of the crew will be doing something the other aircraft don't, flying overnight in complete darkness. If we are doing 3,000 gallons, it could take up to 90 seconds. All fire agencies within our footprint uh, have these available to them. That's 50,000 square miles. Southern California Edison dropped $18 million for this and two other choppers like it, along with covered power lines and better monitoring for fires. Why? Edison estimates it has reduced the probability of losses from catastrophic wildfire by 65 to 70 percent. Power lines and towers are increasingly the source of sparks that start wildfires. Thanks to climate change, utilities like Edison are now on the firefighting business as well. At Van Nuys Airport, Gordon Tokubatsu, NBC4 News.